Hello class, this is Jen. I'm sorry it took me so long to make this video for you. I was busy um, trying to find a square inch of my house that could peer on video without complete shame. Uh, but I have your questions here on my phone that you did at the beginning of the semester. Um, so I'll be answering those today for you. All right, the first question is, how old are your children? My children are... 14 and 12. My daughter Ruby is 14. My son Dash is 12. What college did you go to? I first went to Johnson and Wales University for my degree in culinary arts. Uh, I worked a couple of years in the restaurant industry after that, then went back to school for nutrition at University of Maine at Orono. And then I did my graduate degree at uh, University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill in public health. Uh, so that's where I went to college. What is your connection to Maine? Uh, well, my mom is actually from Maine. She's from Van Buren. Um, but I grew up in Western Massachusetts and, uh, I had some friends who went to University of Maine at Farmington. I went up to visit them after I graduated from college. Uh, I really, really liked uh, the town of Farmington, so I moved there and started working at a restaurant there, um, and that's how I moved to Maine. Okay, next, oh goodness, next set of questions. Where are you from? Well, I grew up here in Western Mass, like I said, and then I kind of, I've moved all around. I went to college in Rhode Island. I did an internship at Glacier National Park in Montana. I did an internship at uh, Disney World in Florida. Um, the, then back up to Maine, then back down to North Carolina, um, and then back up to Maine. What is your favorite African country you are dying to visit? I am very sorry to say I don't know. Uh, I don't like getting on airplanes, so I would have to know something like I really had to see to go on an airplane to get there. Um, that being said, if I were going to visit Africa, what I would want to do is research where I can see the most animals. That would be the big draw for me. Um, I'd like to see some elephants or uh, giraffes or something like that. Uh, so I guess I'd research and find out where I could go on safari or something to see some animals. Okay, let's see. Next set of questions. Who is your favorite president and who inspires you? Uh, well, I'm not going to answer who my favorite president is because I don't want to get too political. All I'm going to say about that is uh, starts with an O and rhymes with Shmobama. Uh, who inspires you? That's a tough one. I have a lot of people who inspire me, mostly like my dad and President Obama and Michelle Obama. Um, but really, if I have to think about like someone who I'm just constantly amazed at, I would say my son Dash and my daughter Ruby. Um, but Dash has a lot of difficulties. He's uh, on the autism spectrum. He has extreme ADHD. He has a mood disorder. He really struggles. And that kid uh, goes to school and tries 10 times as hard as any other kid I've, I've ever seen. It, it's, it's just hard for him. And he, boy, I don't like the glare on my glasses. So I'm, I'm going to go back to this weirdo glasses position. Uh, so he tries really hard day after day, even though he hates it and even though it's very, very hard for him. That's a big inspiration to me. Why did you move to Mass? Well, I grew up in this beautiful home here that my dad built. And um, I have a lot of, I'm, I have trouble with change. Even though I moved around a lot, I, um, I get anxious with change and things like that. So uh, in 2005, my brother was killed in Iraq. And my parents decided they couldn't live in this house anymore. It was just too painful for them. But I kind of felt the opposite way that, like, I couldn't let it go. So my parents sold their house to me. And so now I live in this house. And 
um, just sort of carry on all the family traditions here. And that's why I moved to Mass. It's a really beautiful town I live in. What's your favorite genre of music? Um, I wouldn't say I have one favorite genre of music. I really like to sing along with songs. So my playlists on my phone are mostly like songs that I think I can sing along to. Uh, I don't sing well at all. Uh, the last concert I went to was I went to 21 Pilots with my daughter and I was like blown away. Concerts have really changed since I was going to concerts in the 80s. It was amazing. Um, so let's see. The, the last song I listened to and sang along to in my car was um, Whipping Post by the Allman Brothers, um, House of Gold by 21 Pilots, um, I have some songs in there by the fray. I don't know. Just a little bit of everything. Uh, next question. What's your ethnicity? Kind of like my dog. I'm an American mix. Uh, on my father's side, his mother was from Canada. So French Canadian. His father was a mix of English and Scottish. On my mother's side, she was from uh, Canada as well. Well, her mother and father were from Canada, so French-Canadian, but also a little bit of English mixed in there. Uh, what is your favorite genre of music? I answered that. What is your favorite dish to eat and make? I love to make soup and bread, any kind of soup and bread. I love to make brownies. Um, when I need a special treat at home, I cook myself a little steak and put it on a salad with some balsamic vinegar. Where did you grow up? Here in this house in Western Mass? Do you have any pets? I do. Let's see if I can get one of them to come over and give me some love. Ember, come here. I have a dog named Ember. Come here, Ember. She, she thinks somebody's here, but Ember, come here and give me some love. Come here. Oh, come here. Can you get on the camera? Can you get on the camera? Can you show the love? Oh, yeah, you're a good girl. Okay, you also, bonus, got a view of my messy kitchen over there. Um, I So, my dog, Ember, uh, I have two cats. One is an old lady cat named Twilight, and the other is a youngish um, boy cat named Piccolo. I also have eight chickens. Are you a good cook? How did you meet your husband? Uh, I think I'm a good cook. My son would argue with you, but I think my husband and daughter would agree that I'm a good cook. I did go to culinary school. I did work in restaurants for probably, you know, on and off for 20 years throughout college. Um, and after college, how did I meet my husband? I was uh, the chef at a restaurant in Farmington, and he was the bartender. How long did it take to get your RD? Where did you receive your degree? Uh, I did two years of culinary school from 1989 to 1991. Took a little break and worked in restaurants uh, from 1994 to 1998. I uh, went to University of Maine at Orono, and then from 1998 to 2000, I uh, did graduate school in North Carolina, so I guess that's a total of about 11 years, but with a break in between. Where did you receive your degree? I think I've already answered that. Where did you go to school, get your degrees? I answered that. Okay, last set of questions. Why did you move to another state? Uh, why didn't you stay here for teaching? Um, I answered that because I love my childhood home. Um, and... Uh, why didn't I stay here for teaching? Well, I love teaching online classes, and I was given the opportunity to move and still teach online, so I thought that was a win-win. How many chickens do you have? I have eight chickens. I think I'm going to get maybe four or six more chickens in the spring. Um, my chickens are Easter eggers, which means they lay blue eggs, which are really pretty. And that each chicken looks different and has its own personality, so I can tell them all apart. Uh, their names are Memma, Delta, uh, Margaret, Agnella, Peregrine, Sugar, Bonnie, 
One more. And spice. Those are my chickens. Why did you want to teach nutrition? Uh, well, I decided I wanted to teach nutrition when I was uh, working in a restaurant in Maine. And I put in a 98-hour week one week where I was just like literally laying down in the bed, waking up, going to work, and working till past midnight every day. I was helping the bartender. I was baking bread. I was making the desserts for the restaurant. I was doing the ordering and receiving and... Um, and, you know, I was working the line. I was filling in for waitresses. I was, like, literally working all the time. I had no benefits. Um, I had no vacation. If I had the day off, like, the restaurant had to close. Like, literally, it was the worst situation. Um, and I just said, well, this isn't any way to have a life in the long term. And um, I decided, you know, I was young back then. I decided I wanted to go into the Peace Corps and help people in other countries who, you know, were living in poverty, have healthy babies, um, through nutrition. So, uh, I went back to school for nutrition, but in the meantime, met my husband and fell in love and wanted to have kids of my own. And so the Peace Corps thing kind of went by the wayside. Um, but that's my connection to how I decided to go from culinary arts to nutrition. Uh, one fun fact about me. Um, I did an internship at Disney World. I've climbed an actively erupting volcano. And, um, I once made a salad for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, oh, the last thing is where did you attend high school? Uh, here in Western Mass at Westfield High School. Um, which, you know, probably none of you have ever heard of, but... There you go. Okay, so that's me. Uh, Lorna's expecting this video seven minutes ago, so I've got to upload it to YouTube, and hopefully you guys can watch it in class today. Thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Bye.